Double Diamond Railroad back down here to discover the sad news. We got a botched roof again. Did the same thing on the um, engine house roof. Had to get another kit. We're gonna not gonna be satisfied with this. We're gonna order another kit and only build the roof. Keep the other parts for spare. I get enough spare parts. I have another building anyway of some type. So we got that structure all done. It's good. And the roof, you can see, we're short because the piece underneath right there goes on the outer edge. Rode up over the edge it was supposed to hook over. When it was in the frame of the tray back here in the corner, I couldn't see it. I already fixed the left side once, but this is too much now. The glue's set overnight. Can't fix it. Just going to get another kit and rebuild the roof only and put it on top. I want it to look right. You can see that gap in there too. I don't like the way they did that. Said piece in a piece of this one thing. I'm going to change to a flat strip. Uh, let's see, they had us cutting some of this stuff back, back here. It's got ridges. I'm going to get a flat strip that they use for a joiner seam like and piece that in instead to make it look more uniform. Kind of crazy thing. It's not exact part because they use them for moldy kits. So it's kind of fudge it in there. I don't like that. I'm going to try to dress that up on the next one. Do it different. Live and learn. Never had so much trouble with these. Certain kits were all one thing. These are moldies here. You can see all the cut lines like I showed before. 10, 12, what is it, 16 and 18 or something like that. You can cut the walls down. We're going with full height. So, there you go. Next project, they're piling up literally. There's that engine. It's all ready. I got to change couplers. Dig those out and change those. That's probably about a 15 minute process. Uh, longest thing will take finding them. And now we just got a new box. Just came in the mail. And we're going to have to get that. Break that out. You can see where it's from. So I'll break it out here and show you here. Reveal that here shortly. Be right back. Okay, here we go. There's a reveal on the new engine. And I love the number 100 because I didn't even think about it. My P42 that I have the original with sound is number 99. So that's going to be really cool. I'll put this guy on the point ahead of the sound engine. Maybe. We'll see about the lights. The other one has better lights I think so there's a new Amtrak engine that'll go on the uh, capital limited set make it more scale true to life two engines and five to seven cars now we have a room problem in the siding where we store it so we'll probably move it to the other siding on the back wall instead of over in the NS yard so now we got to put a K1D4 decoder. I've got one right there in a the bag. Swap it out. I got to get some Kapton tape on it. I'm going to see if the other one I have has any tape on it already. I wanted that midnight blue. Kind of looks black in here. It's supposed to be midnight blue. Boy, that truck detail is pretty good. So there we go, it'll be DCC for now, no sound. I'd love to have them both sound and make this one or the other one run at HEP mode, that high energy profile where it really runs at full throttle for it, providing power to the train. So there's that, and that's a project for right now. We'll start on the K1D4. First of all, we're gonna order that new kit, firehouse kit, and get it on the way.
This came in a day, two days early. Was surprised, UPS. Okay, that's it for now. Take care, guys. Have a great weekend. We'll be back later with some test runs of the engine. I'll get the couplers on the SP, and then we'll get this guy test running on the track, doing the speed setting for him on the CVs, get him matched up. Take care. Catch you later. Have a great weekend. Double Dome Railroad.